This is bacteria. If bacteria gets into your body and isn't stopped, it can cause an infection. This is a white blood cell. White blood cells patrol your blood and try to stop infections. The majority of harmful bacteria that gets into your body are stopped by white blood cells before you get any symptoms of infection. Sometimes bacteria can overwhelm the white blood cells. This causes an infection. For particularly bad infections, you may get prescribed antibiotics. Antibiotics try to help out the white blood cells by killing bacteria. Once the bacteria are killed, the infection stops. Antibiotics don't always work on bacteria. These bacteria are reproducing normally by dividing in two. Occasionally, when a bacteria divides in two, it mutates and becomes much harder to kill with antibiotics. These tougher bacteria are called resistant bacteria. Resistant bacteria can be killed by antibiotics eventually, but only if you take a course exactly as prescribed. If you choose to take antibiotics, it is very important to stick to the course so you have the best chance of killing resistant bacteria. Many infections such as the common cold are caused by viruses. Viruses are very different to bacteria and they are completely unaffected by antibiotics. This is why antibiotics aren't prescribed for viral infections. Taking antibiotics when they aren't needed can put you at risk of other infections and increase the chance of getting resistant bacteria. Although antibiotics can't kill viruses, your body's white blood cells are able to in most cases. Therefore, most viral infections will be cleared up on their own. Antibiotics don't work on viruses. You can get problems when you use antibiotics when you don't need them. Most mild illnesses can be cleared naturally by your body or managed with over-the-counter medication. Your doctor can give you advice as to when antibiotics will be necessary for you.